Hi there. If you're watching this, then you're probably interested in what to expect when you buy a DB longboard deck, uh, more specifically a factory seconds deck. And the one that I got was the Corflex 3, um, which is the one that's rated for the highest weight class. They come in three levels of flex, um, so make sure that you get the right one for you. First of all, you can see that the grip tape is slightly off. Um, there are irregularities uh, between the distance of the bottom uh, of the deck uh, and the top. Um, you'll see that it's just not quite aligned um, by the logo as well. Um, from a sort of physical um, perspective, the truck bolt holes all look fine. As I'm unwrapping it, um, you'll see that there are a few more things um, that you'll notice. There's a long black line uh, that goes across the entire length of the deck um, and it also appears on both sides um, so it must go through all layers um, of the deck. Will this um, make any performance impact? I really highly doubt it just because of how thin it is. Um, it's probably just a discoloration of the wood um, so I'm not too concerned there. Um, you'll also notice that there's a little bit of a divot um, in the deck uh, but that shouldn't make any difference either. I imagine that just through use, um, there's probably going to be a few more knocks and dents um, as, as I use it. Price-wise, it was a pretty hefty discount to get the seconds deck. Um, it was $112.95 uh, US rather than $149.95. Um, so it was about £25 off the RRP um, from a UK sterling perspective. So am I happy with it? Absolutely. I think one thing to watch out for is that there is a VAT and import duty um, for items in the US, which you're probably aware of, but if you're not, just make sure that you take this into account um, to make sure that you're still getting a good deal. So that's the first component that I bought for the eScape project that I'm doing. Um, stay tuned as I buy other components and slowly build up um, the electronic skateboard.